Let's check. We are back with more Let's Play Chrono Trigger, and we are going through the whatchamacallit, uh, reptilian, reptite lair thingy. And uh, yeah, I'm a little out of it. I'm trying to make my own personal week from hell a little better because um, I uh, live in Albuquerque, as some of you may know. And this is, uh, quote-unquote, monsoon season. And um, what ends up happening, or at least what ends up happening where we live, is that, almost like clockwork, the power will go out at, like, 7.30, 8 o'clock, 8.30. Hey, I learned a new dual tech. That's always fun. Um, I want to get in here. How do I get in here? I think I have to open this later, but I could have swore is isn't one of these. You just walk up to the mouth and pop it open, right? And in this case, I think I, I, I can't remember. You got to go down here and open it. All right. So, okay. Now we switch to the battle music. That's interesting. But, um, yeah, the power goes out. The storm rolls in and it rained. Last night it rained more than it has in over a year, I would say. Um, which isn't much, but it's enough. Uh, to <laughs> completely fuck up the uh, power infrastructure, the power grid, and um, we're, the air conditioning is off, it's humid as fuck in here, and it gets to be about 80, 85 degrees in the house, and there's nothing you can do, there's nothing you can do, so yeah, I can't sleep when it's that hot, so it's just this, <laughs> I think the last time I slept uh, before last night was uh, Sunday, Sunday night, and I'm recording this on a Thursday, so... Yeah, it's been, uh, I, we've lost power three out of the last four nights, and that adds up, and it adds up to a lot of, you know, I have to work an eight to five job, and it's like, I'm useless, like, I can't do anything if I don't sleep. All right, Volt Bite, that's a great attack. Very, very useful. It's where you strike uh, Isla with lightning, and then she goes and bites the enemy a couple times. It's, it, like... I guess you charge her and... Wait, let's fight over here. There's more room. <laughs> I always like stuff like that. It's like something out of a Hercules The Legendary Journeys episode. Wait, we need to fight over here in this clearing. But weren't we just in a forest? I don't know. But anyway. Yeah, I'm really out of it, tired. But I gotta... People keep asking about this. It's weird. And I, it's all the power of Chrono Trigger. It has nothing to do with me. It's just people like Chrono Trigger. So, and I don't blame them. It's the best game ever. So, my pick for the best game ever anyway. But, uh, yeah, this has been uh, a really tough week. Um, no sleep. No power for, you know, the power will come on at like 3.30 in the morning or something like that. You know, by that time, I, I, <laughs> my window is, <laughs> is gone. Oh, Kino is here. Uh-oh. I let's save you. Why can't Okay, here here's a plot hole. So Isla climbs over and sneaks in through the top. You you telling me Kino can't do that? Kino can't climb over that rib cage door thing. What Isla do? Uh, there you go. I guess she was powering herself up or something with that pause. I wish Kino was a playable character, even for a little bit. That'd be kind of cool. Even if he sucked, <laughs> he was just some wimp. All right, what do we got here? Uh, mid ether. I was hoping that would be some gear, but anyway. Let's keep on rolling. He's got to show us something. Oh, he opens up the door for you. There you go. Bye, dude. Okay, let's keep going. So anyway, I'm... Uh, oh, yeah. One of these opens a trap door, and the other... Op oh, they both do. But they don't get rid of the enemies. You just run into them at, a, at another part of the thing. Another part of the, the dungeon here. So yeah, 
When I first played through this part, I really didn't like it. I just wanted this part to be over with. Um, and just, you know, it's like, God, I, there's so many battles here, and I just got through Magus' castle. Like, I'm just... Like, this is overkill. But I've, I've learned to kind of enjoy it now, because you have Isla in your party now. It's just a way of getting Isla dual techs with the rest of the party, basically. Um... At least that's how I see it now. Uh, and I, you know, just letting you know that Isla's a great flipping character. She's one of the strongest in the game by far. It's her and Chrono is the strongest. I mean, depending on what you do with tabs with Chrono, I, oh, come on. I give uh, Chrono pretty much everything. All the power tabs and speed tabs and all that sort of stuff. Or no, not Chrono, I'm sorry, Drunk. But, uh,. Yeah, as uh, many longtime viewers know, I like to ramble about music on these things uh, because I don't, I'm not very good at the LP thing, like being all obnoxiously high energy. Yeah, how do you do this? Like what's going on here? Okay, I can't even get, uh, okay. Okay, that's useful. Uh, can I get to this? Okay, cool. <laughs> A tonic. 10 hit points. Or 50 hit points, I forget. I don't know. No, I... Can I go around this way? No, I cannot. No, I can't go... Oh, now I'm way the fuck down here, and I can't get that? <laughs> Damn it. I'm losing track of where I'm supposed to go. Okay, let's just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of this. More random battles. But yeah, I like to ramble about music in this uh, thing because I don't know what else to talk about. I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a little tired of video gamey stuff, as you might imagine. It's it's my primary hobby, obviously. It's, it's hard to have a a channel. Oh yeah, I think he kills himself. <laughs> why why do they do that? I don't know. But um. The, uh, yeah, I, I get burnt out on video games frequently. So, um, yeah, I like blathering about music if I can when the opportunity strikes. So, I like, uh, I got some hot takes for you. Some Skip Bayless, Stephen A. Smith style hot takes. But mostly 90s music because that's what I grew up with. And that's sadly still what I listen to. It's interesting, um, a lot of the bands that I liked as a teenager and, you know, in my 20s and stuff like that, I, a lot of them are getting back together, and Face No More being the primary example, um, there, there aren't a lot of new bands that I like that, um, god damn it. See, weren't these the enemies that were up top and they fell down here? I don't know speculation but um yeah i like to uh yeah let's conserve some mp and just use regular old lightning and then just go to town on this dinosaur ass but uh <coughs> yeah faith no more's most recent album which has now already been a few yeah, i think it was released in 2015 uh soul invictus it's one of my favorite albums of the last i don't know how many years it's great i love it um it be only because it fits in with the rest of their catalog. It sounds like a Faith No More album. Now, what did that do? Interesting. Did it open up the... No, this opens up the door out there. So, I don't know. But uh, I think that... Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know what that does. Really? I gotta fight these assholes again? Sheesh. Um, yeah, no, the, the latest Faith No More is very, very good, and it sounds like it, it's the natural progression from album of the year which was released in 1997 whereas soul invictus i believe was 2015 which is pretty crazy 18 years later um and then the other another album just to give you another example is a band from norway called arcturus uh with uh the i, I think uh they're a metal band started out as like black metal but now they're just kind of goofy metal. I am feeling froggy. Let's fish, finish 
switch to fish and I think I want to get some uh, dual techs. That is kind of my. I like to get as many dual techs and triple techs or whatever techs as I can uh, when during portions like this, during endless battles like this. So why not have invite fish back to the party? But um, no, Arcturus is another band from I think they formed with uh, Garm from Ulver, the lead singer of Ulver. Uh, as the lead singer, and then he was eventually replaced by ICS Vortex, who some of you might know as uh, the p singer of uh, Dumu, Dimu Borgir. There, see, there you go. Dual text, out the ass. Look at that. Spire, all that stuff. And that's why you do that. So let's flip to Robo and see what fun dual text we can learn here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is just busy flexing. Yeah, he's out back. I'm I'm busy over here. Let's uh I didn't realize this was already we're already here. We're only like ten minutes into this and we're already at the at the thing. Let's use a shelter. And um Yeah, Arcturus is uh that Hellhammer is the drummer. I, f I think Hellhammer was the drummer for Mayhem. And yeah, now we gotta fight Mizbell. He's reasonably easy. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Nizbell 2. You're not Sylvia. You're Nizbell 2. Like, maybe one of you will get that lame reference. But, um. Volt Bite. One of my favorite attacks in the game. There it is. Bites him in the ass. <laughs> oh yeah, now his uh, stuff was decreased. And of course, as tradition, I love using Marl for haste in boss battle. But Arcturus was... Uh, a d they're, I mean, it's Norway, so it's going to be black metal. It started out as black metal, and then it got more like a progressive, more melodic thing um, as time went on. And uh, they had a new album, I think, in 2016, which I also really liked and is an improvement over their, their previous last album, which I think was released in, like, 2004 or 2005, called Shipwrecked Symphonies or something like that. Shipwrecked... No, I can't remember the name of it. The Sickness Symphony... I, I don't know. No, that's Carcass. Symphonies of Sickness. Or, I, cacophony of I don't I don't know I can't I'm getting all my shit mixed up I'm tired very tired but now Arcturus is another band that's been around forever and I like their latest album I'm trying to think of other examples and I can't I still think of Gorillas as a new as as, as a new band in my head I'm like oh yeah I like Gorillas they're kind of new it's like no they formed in like 1999 they're not new <laughs> uh, Ghost is a relatively new band that formed in 2010 or at least their first album came out in 2010. I can't, I I don't really like their first couple album or I like the I don't really like the first album. Second album's better, third album's better. Fourth album is real I really enjoy their their latest. Um cuz it sounds like a new band. It doesn't sound as painfully derivative as the previous. I think I talked about this the last time, but yeah, the, as far as new bands go, I couldn't I didn't I don't even know what to tell you. I don't even know. Um, there's a band called Sir Sly that I like. Uh-oh. How, how's this gonna do? Okay. We just need to heal Marl. We just need to do a, uh... Well, I guess we'll stay aggressive and we'll... We don't really need a... A whatchamacallit. Or a whirl. If Marl is the only one in, in any real danger. We got plenty of time to fix this here. But, um... Sir Sly did that high song. Their lyrics are terrible. It's just adolescent stuff about doing drugs. It's really la it's kind of lame, but the music is cool. It's a good balance of kind of classic Beatlesy acoustic songwriting, you know, four four mel, you know, typical stuff um, with kind of an electronic. Uh, slant to it um, with more of a you know lots of modern stuff going on so I like I like them I like their latest album I don't even know what it's called I can't remember but a lot of good singles on it it's another thing I've noticed um, 
with recent bands, when you buy a band's or when, when you listen to a band's album, or at least listen to a band that um uh. A recent band, I'll say. This is so g generalized and stupidly generic comment, but hey, I'm in Stephen A. Smith mode right now, okay? Listen to me, I'm, I'm gonna be very, very clear on this, okay? <laughs> it's my bad Stephen A. Smith impression. Very, very clear. Very, very, he says the word very a lot, and he always says it two times in a row. I'm very, very close friends with the guys in Gorillas, okay? <laughs> and, uh,. <laughs> He, uh, no, they, uh, there's a lot of filler on these albums. Like, the latest Gorillaz album, um, I think it's called Humans, or something like that. I can't remember. Something Humans. And there's so much filler. And it's like, I miss when bands, and this was a thing, I miss when bands treated every song like it was going to be a hit single. They slaved over every song. As if it were, you know, it's like, okay, we need to try to make sure that every song catches on somehow. Give every song a chance. The, one of the best examples of that is, oh, all right, we're done already. That's a reasonably easy boss fight. But, um, uh, there's a tough boss fight coming up here. But, um, 880, that's it. Figured at least a 1k experience points there and no cutesy dialogue or anything after that so let's use another shelter um one of them one of my favorite examples of what i'm talking about is the peter gabriel album so it's got sledgehammer i think big time is on that when you listen to that album it's like every one of these songs sound like they could be like a big hit single let's get uh Robo in here and let's get some of his dual techs. Yeah, after that boss fight, you just kind of go back to regular grind mode here, which is a little disappointing, but I guess he's kind of a break between all the rest of the stuff, but yeah, Peter Gabriel So is a good example of just like, it sounds like every song on this album could be, not that every song sounds like Sledgehammer or Big Time. Listen to those two songs. Those two songs sound you know pretty different but um maybe it's just the videos that i'm imagining in my head between those two and two very different videos that's another thing that made a big difference to me um growing up is i grew up watching you know I, between the ages i would say of between the ages of 10 and 14 um i just watched so much mtv and that's back when they played videos all day, most of the day. They still had stuff like the real world. Road Rules was just barely starting out. Um, I remember Mark and Cat on Road Rules. There we go. Get rid of those fuckers. See ya. Oh, but the downside is you missed the save state that you just had. I did that really just happen? Motherfucker, I just. Oh come on, boo, boo! God damn it. I made a little slip with the controls, and now I gotta fight my way back up to the top. Hey, this is good, good fodder for uh, re leveling up, and good fodder for LP rambling. So, whatever. But um, yeah, the uh, MTV was a big part of my life. Yeah, between I would say I was 10 years old in 1982, um, and that was the height of the whole grunge thing. Pearl Jam, uh, Jeremy was on MTV like a hundred times a day, Nirvana, anything Nirvana was always popular, it was always on, I remember, uh, remember that one Candlebox song was a huge hit and that was on all the time, is this guy gonna kill himself? No he's not actually for the first time, he's gonna do a whopping 8 damage to my buddy Hans, but um, I need a drink of water here. Finally, we've got Spin Kick. God damn it. This game just likes to fuck with you. With I'm gonna go in this door. Oh, no, you can't. But, um... Yeah, I distinctly uh, remember... MTV was such a big part of, like, my childhood. It's crazy. Like, I remember having a... It was my friend's... Or, uh, actually, it was my birthday. Um, and I, I decided to celebrate by... You know, birthday parties are a big deal when you're a kid, but I really only had a few friends. 
so they weren't a big deal to me. Um, so I, uh, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> my best friend Dan lived down the road from me, and I was just like, you know what, Dan, I'm just gonna have a sleepover at your house if, if that's okay <laughs> for my birthday party. It was just me and him. It was fun. And we woke up the next morning, and uh, his mom was like, oh, you guys, Kurt Cobain killed himself. And it's like, wait, what? Are you freaking kidding me? And we're both kind of stunned because it's like, what do you do with that information when you're, I think we were both 12 at that time. Yeah, I just turned 12. And they, uh, oh my God, I have to open. Oh yeah, that's right. This is where I fell. At least I don't have to fight those enemies again. That sucks. Anyway, yeah, I remember her. I'll never forget her being like, yeah, Kurt Cobain killed himself and being like, why would somebody do that? And like, holy shit, he's really like Nirvana is over. Like, that's it. Like, that's all we get is just never mind and uh, incest, incesticide, bleach and in utero that like that's all we get. And then MTV like commemorate, you know, not commemorated. That's a terrible way to put it, but. <laughs> They didn't commemorate someone's death. <laughs> oh, come on, really? Um, talked about, uh... Or they, they rather, they re-aired the Nirvana Unplugged special all day that day. And it was, uh, it, fe it felt... It, like, the whole thing felt like... I, like, okay, this is a really big deal what's going on. Like, this is crazy. Like, this guy is just gone. Um, you know, and I'm 12. This dude was, like, part of my very small universe at that point. You know, all I have in my life at that point is just, like, school and video games and my family, my friends, and music. And, like, all of those things have very limited static parameters. So if one of those things is just, just ceases to exist, it's like... What do you do? It's how do you wrap your head around that? So it was very strange. Okay, so oh goodness, that does not sound pleasant. My stomach made that noise last night actually, after uh, after a couple protein bars. No, I'm just kidding. Protein bars are awful can't eat those. Sarah Topper. Is that a Michael Sarah Topper? You skinned his face and you get to wear his face? Is that what's going on? Let's just give it to Hans for fun. Actually, let's give it to Chrono. We have a big boss battle awaiting us. Um, this is one of the bigger ones in the game. So, we want to be appropriately equipped to handle this, and we do that with Marl in our party, or at least I have to. Let's make sure everyone's cured, or at least Chrono, and make sure everybody has enough uh, magic. Let's use all these ethers. Yeah, we're fine. Let's roll like this. That is your boss. That is some sweet ass pixel art right there. Stain the earth red. And by the way, in the upper right, if you didn't catch it, that is Lavos heading, hurling towards earth. Oh shit, we got the ultra serious boss music. I love when they bust this out. Da, 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 da. And of course, as tradition, we use haste first. And we're going to do volt bite. Volt bite is the key attack. And it didn't do shit. <laughs> I should have recognized that you need to stun him first with just a regular lightning. I think, I can't remember if you want to bother with Azala at all. Or if you just leave him alone. In the meantime, let's just keep doing. Keep doing what we're doing. 
Anyway, yeah, Cro uh, Chrono, uh, Kurt Cobain, <laughs> Cro Chrono Cobain. Ooh, that's a real s big time. Uh, oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Um, Kurt Cobain's uh, finding that out was pretty cr Like, I didn't know what to do with that information. How is that not shocking him? Shouldn't that stun him? I think I got to take out Azala first, then. Um, so yeah, no, I liked Nirvana, um, because, you know, when you're a kid, you just want to like what's popular, and I had, I remember before Nirvana, I was really into stuff like Aerosmith, like, not old Aerosmith, but like the recent Aerosmith, like Permanent Vacation, and Pump, and Get a Grip, and stuff like that, it's, I gotta say it's a lot, some of it's because of, uh, Wayne's World, because Aerosmith was on Wayne's World, they played the Wayne's World theme, and stuff like that like I just loved Aerosmith after that so um because I thought Wayne's World was the funniest thing ever when I was growing up yeah let's take out Azala first I wasted a couple of volt bites so that was no good that was pretty stupid and I have to reapply haste to Marl which is a pain in the ass but um yeah Guns N' Roses was another really big band and I'm really disappointed uh, Slash is going to be touring with his regular... I'll be honest with you, I love Guns N' Roses, I love Use Your Illusion, I love Appetite of Destruction, I even love the Lies EP, but, um, and I like Axel, I, like, I love Slash, he's one of my favorites, but I'd rather see Slash solo, his band, I really like his band a lot, actually. Um, I like Miles Kennedy, the singer. Even though his, he kind of he, his voice kind of makes every song sound the same. He's got like the same like register, so to speak, for every song. Every song is like the same tempo. But I love Slash. I love his sense of melody. Um, I love his style. He's so much fun to listen to. Um, he's one of those those guys I love to listen to, and when I'm in a good mood, and it makes my mood even better. He's one of those people. I love Guns N' Roses, but I I have no interest in seeing. Guns N' Roses in this form with like fat Axl Rose <laughs> and you know they're all in their 50s and it's just I don't I don't I'm not interested in that I don't for whatever reason I can't really put my finger on it. I'm just kind of oh okay we're we've reached this point then I think we want to move on to uh let's see what this does no he still needs to be yeah, I think we want to um, switch to Rust Tyranno here. Yeah, let's just do a regular cat attack. Yeah, he see he's lowered his defenses, so yeah, she needs haste like now. <laughs> let's just do a. Um, I don't know what to do. Yeah, let's do a volt bite on this because his defense is down. It's an opportunity. Gotta be opportunistic. But um. But yeah, I don't want to see Guns N' Roses in their current form because it's too sad. But I would not be against seeing Slash and his, uh, I, I can't remember his, I think it's the Conspirators, Miles Kennedy, Slash featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators. I like them. I like their last album, World on Fire, was good. I like the new single for their latest album. They're going to be coming to the Fillmore Auditorium in Denver. And I really want to go, but it's in like I think it's like the second week of, the, of September. I'm not going to be able to, to make it. Um, work is in the way. Like that's when the uh oh here we go massive attack. But I am prepared with 300 HP for each of my characters and an aura world ready to go. And it turns out that didn't even do that much damage. I guess I should have equip equipped the red vest for this one, huh? Hindsight, 2020, all that. But, um, yeah, I would totally go see Slash, just his regular band. But seeing Axel in his current form, too sad. Yeah, it's time to take out Azala. I'm sick of his face. And he still has so much fucking HP. 
Yeah, this is one of the this is one of the longer boss battles in the game. He's got to be close. Yeah, he's, you got to do multiple hastes. You know it's a long boss battle when you got to do when it's that music number one, and when there's you got to do haste more than once. Let's try this. What the hell? Good old drill kick. It's still not enough. Anyway, back to music stuff. Um, I gotta say, I like, you know, obviously I, I loved the album Nevermind as a kid. I was... Did I finally beat him? Jesus. Um, my when you're the youngest of three and your two older siblings are really into music, you, I think you you end up getting into music at a really really early age, um, and that was definitely the case with me. So, when I say I liked Guns N' Roses since I was five years old, that is 100% accurate. Because anytime my parents would leave and my sister would be in charge, she would commandeer my yeah I need I'm running out of magic. Shit. I would com my sister would commandeer my mom's little boombox thing. This would have been 1987, and she would play the Appetite of Destruction cassette that had just come out. And she and she would uh, she'd ask what what song I'd want to hear, and she, I would always say Night Train, which is slightly prophetic since uh, Night Train is uh, the name of a drink, <laughs> name of a liquor rather. All right, with Az Azala out of the way, now we can concentrate on Rust Tyranno. Good old fashioned Ice Sword, one of my favorite spells in the game. But um, yeah, I think I might switch to this. No, I think Volt Bite and Solo uh, Marl Magic is probably gonna be the way to go. Are you sick of seeing this spell yet? I've only done it like 12 times in this battle. But, um... Yeah, let's just do, uh... Yeah, oh, I need to do haste. Shit. Yeah, let's just do good old... Bolt bite. So Guns N' Roses, and plus, you know, MTV back then, I saw a lot of Tears for Fears videos, saw quite a few Depeche Mode videos. Um, I liked, you'll laugh, but I liked Criss Cross c quite a bit when they first came out. I loved the baseball jerseys that they wore, backwards of course, but I loved the, the giant baggy baseball uniforms that like buttoned up. But they, uh, but they didn't have a player on the back. They just had the team logo on the back. I wanted those jerseys so bad, just for any team. But I loved the. I wanted those so bad. It was, it was very. It was so novel to have like a player jersey back then. It was. I remember the first player jersey I owned was Tim Hardaway of the Golden State Warriors, and it had nothing to do with Tim Hardaway. It had nothing to do. Oh shit! That fucking killed. Damn. That's not good. Let's, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to use, uh, her heal. Get her up to speed. God, we gotta do haste again with her. And then let's just do aura whirl, and then I think... Yeah, earning, owning a jersey back then was, n was kind of unusual. They don't, they didn't have the t-shirt jerseys back then. You just went to Sport Mart, and you went through their jersey aisle basically and they were expensive as fuck they were uh, like $60 each or something like that but man oh man I wanted a Jeff Bagwell jersey I wanted so b I wanted a Jordan number 45 jersey so badly and a, or a 23 that would have been fine Scotty Pippen I would have had his jersey if I could but they were just too expensive um, football jerseys too you never saw people wear football jerseys back then um, they just cost too much, so it was a lot different. Now that's like the ma one of the main differences, I would say. Okay, now I'm all healed up. Um, we can use reapply haste to everybody, and we can really start kicking some ass and get through this boss battle. 
God, I started on crisscross and I ended up on sports jerseys. <laughs> but no, that was the thing. It was, uh, yeah, Scottie Pippen would would have been the one actually over Jordan. I would rather have Scott. I thought I always thought he was underappreciated big time, and that he was kind of in Jordan's shadow. And then when remember when Jordan retired in '94 for the first time, um, or I guess he retired in '93 technically to play baseball, but he was not in the '94 season at all. And it was it turned into Pippen's team, and he went off, had statistically the best season of his career, took the Bulls to the NBA uh, Eastern Conference Finals against the Knicks, and then the Knicks finally kind of got their revenge. I think they went to a Game 7. Um, the Knicks finally beat the Bulls, and then they ended up getting uh, beat by the Houston Rockets, Elijah Wan and the Houston Rockets. And that was, uh, of course, that's made famous now, made memorable now, rather, by the OJ chase. That was what was happening during the uh, NBA Finals that year, the infamous OJ chase. By the way, my dad, when I think of the OJ chase, I just hear my, in my head, I hear my dad laughing. Because when they split, when they decided, this was 1994, okay, this was... Like, cable TV was seen as, like, the big wave of the future innovation. Like, there was no internet, obviously. All the qualifiers, blah, blah, blah. But when they went split screen, when NBC went split screen with the NBA Finals, I think it was a game, it was like a game four or a game five or something like that. It was a really crucial game um, because the series was in the air. It was, you know, it wasn't a sweeper. And All right, we're done. We be... <laughs> Drunk learns life. That is really... Okay, I need to stop my rambling and pay attention to the story here. This is an important moment coming up. Sad music? Why are we sad for Azala? This guy's a dick. Isla understand. Isla understand music cue. Isla knows music cue means that Isla feel empathy for enemy. Pardon? See, this is where I wish I had Luca in the party. Yep, that's Lavos, all right. Okay, okay, we get the idea. Okay, you can... Okay, he's spinning through space. He's going in all directions. He's headed towards Earth. There he is. Minutes away, seconds away from impact. He does not burn in the atmosphere somehow. Uh, Lavos somehow makes the same sound as Rust Tirano for some reason. Whoa! -oh. Hey! Our dactyl taxis are here. Dactyl Uber? Kino's our Uber driver? <laughs> or Uber flyer, rather? Really? That poor little dactyl's gotta carry both? Kino and Isla. Oh, stop it. We have no future. Right on his castle, just for bonus points. What a kick to the dick that is. Not only did you lose this battle, but Lavos is going to crush your fucking empire. Right in its face. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> okay, now we've got what looks like uh, a uh, composite shot of some cliffs and some stuff. <laughs> and our, our heroes are represented in the three dots down there. Drunk, fight it! Let's fight! <laughs> the dots just kind of ho kind of hop around. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Watch out for the random battles down there, guys. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, do we head back? No. We need to investigate the lair ruins. 
And there's a gate. See, this is why I wish I had flipped to Luke. I should have done that, but whatever. Yes, Lavos creates all the gates. That's the whole point. But we don't want to do that yet. Let's go back and hang out and party some more in 65 million BC. Yeah. Still, I'm I'm always a little happy, a little relieved to be done with this part of the game. It's probably my least favorite part of Chrono Trigger is this section here. I'm not. I've never been too thrilled with. I like Isla's char the Isla character. Yeah, we want to do. I think it was. Um, let's see. Yeah, you can always say no. All right, we need to talk to this guy because I still know that's not. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. Is it this guy? Yes. Ah, okay. So, considering we need horn to upgrade our sword, we need uh, we're gonna need to do some stuff here out in the training or er, not training area, the hunting range. So, bear with me here, folks. Maybe we might catch that new and get the crazy uh, rare package that he offers. The package that he offers, you get what I mean. But, um, no, I forget what I was talking about. I was going on about music and then I was going on about sports jerseys. Oh yeah, the OJ chase. My my main memory of that was uh, just NBC going to a split screen between OJ driving forty miles an hour, or I guess it was Al Cowling's driving forty miles an hour on the on the LA freeway, and having a split screen with the NBA Finals. My dad just thought this was so absurd that he just he just could not stop laughing. Like uh, just like look 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 what this is look what where we live and look at this uh, just ridiculous nonsense like <laughs> and I see it, you know it's almost like the comedian in Watchmen that's how I kind of see it now it's, like, it's all a joke it's all a joke like it's not I'm not I don't mean to joke about the obviously not the the victims or anything like that or I don't mean to make light of that at all I'm just referring to the level of importance at a national scale that both of those events receive it's like you gotta pick one you gotta pick okay we're a sports thing oh there he is holy shit wow okay that was lucky yeah this is gonna be pretty tough I don't remember what he res he does the most damage let's just start with uh Okay, looks like physical stuff is going to work against them. No, because I, you know, I'm, I'm 36 now and I've reached the point where it's like, okay, sports do not matter. I don't give a fuck anymore about sports. I'll still watch, but my emotional investment in teams or who wins is so, is it's just... I'm still a fan, I'm still a Vikings fan, I'm still a Twins fan, I'm still a whatever fan, but I care like 99% less than I used to. All right, we beat him. 30 tech points, wow. Ice toss, Falcon hit. Oh, Falcon hits one of the most effective three of each of the pedals. All right. And we got a third eye, what, the tool song? Yeah, we need to cure Chrono first and foremost. And is Third Eye an item? It is. It's an accessory. And it doubles your evade. Okay. Sounds good to me. And I think... Well, yeah, let's give that to Isla. Why not? That's kind of cool. Okay. 
We're gonna keep chugging along here. So, uh, yeah, no, I, it's just the absurdity of, like, covering, like, switch to the special report of this guy, the surreal scene of this guy fleeing the police going 40 miles an hour. He's, he's now made it clearly obvious that he did it. Otherwise, why would he be running away? One of those kind of things. Like, that's the conclusion you're drawing as you're watching it. So, it's, uh... And, but no, basketball needs to be on there too. It was just <laughs> what? Like back then, though, there was no. Yeah, we need to get the e Aeon Blade, Eon Blade, Aeon Blade, whatever. We need to uh, um, have basketball be prominently involved in this weird, surreal event in American history. Yeah, we need to sell all this stuff. I I didn't realize I had so much crap to sell. I wonder if I can get more for this elsewhere. But I'm not one. Of, I'm not H C Bailey. I'm not one of those people that uh, um upset. You know, is pedantic to the point where he uh, needs to find the the place that where this stuff is valued the most. And uh, I just realized. I have a freaking magic tab. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> and I hadn't used it. Like, what? Where did that come from? Okay. Um, <laughs> that was weird. Like, wait a second. What is this magic tab doing here? Okay. All right. We are geared up. God, how did I end up on the OJ trial? I remember I was in, when the verdict was read, I was in, was it eighth grade? It would have been eighth grade math, which I think was just pre-algebra or regular algebra. It was something algebra. Um, and uh, they had TV. They, there was a TV in our classroom, like mounted in the corner. And this was such a big deal. They interrupted math class to get the verdict. And I'll never forget my math teacher. I have no... Oh, I can't go in here. I'll never forget her reaction to the verdict. It was... It, and as soon as the verdict was read, the TV was off immediately. It was not guilty, blah, 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 off. Like, done. And she was just shaking her head, muttering something under her breath, like, oh, I can't believe it. And, okay, back to blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And it's like okay, and being older now, I understand like why she w why that was her, her reaction. So interesting looking back on that moment. <laughs> it's just that was such a big deal. They interrupted like the middle of a math lesson. Like, is OJ guilty or innocent? You got to understand though, OJ as a figure in pop culture at the time. Oh, that's right. We get to do this. Oh, the bliss of sleep. That is something I'm not familiar with. I suck at sleep. I can I can never sleep. I'm not good at sleep. Um uh OJ was seen as a goofball. He was the guy that did um he was a sideline guy for sports on NBC Sports. He did a lot of Olympics coverage. He was on um I remember he was on I think like the hurdles or something like that. And he was really, I remember him being really into it. Like, he was really into, like, sprints and stuff like that. Like, and he was, it was clear, like, that was, like, his thing. But he was also a sideline reporter for, like, the game of the week for NBC football. They did the AFC back then, kind of like how CBS does the AFC now. Uh, and he was also, of course, in the Naked Gun movies. And he was seen as, like, a bumbling idiot total slapstick humor so to see this guy oh whoa who's this kid he looks kind of familiar right yeah what a weird kid <laughs> I didn't realize that she does a fist pump after saying that okay uh <laughs> but not bad boy <laughs> Isla's great. I didn't realize she did a like a little 
It's a very subtle fist pump after she says, Cat, good to eat. <laughs> That's great. See, this is the game that... This, this game is a gift that keeps on giving, I'm telling you. What a great... I never realized that. What a great moment. And, speaking of which, we need to change up our party here. Or maybe not. Let's just... I like Isla so much, let's just keep her. <laughs> On second thought, I really should get Luca in the party because she adds a lot of dialogue. I think that opens. Is that this one where that opens? Or is it the other one? And let's remember Captain Planet. Do we start with water? And then wind. Oops, I'm sorry. And then we go f wind and fire. Fire. And then we get a new battle, I think, right? Yes, it worked. It's right there. It's not up there. Oh, boy. Here we go. Yes, I will challenge you. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, this is going to be hard. Um, I wish I had kept Isla. <laughs> Let's just do protect, I guess. I don't know what to do. So yeah, when OJ was... I remember when... Oh, this is one of these battles where they do the... Bring you down to one hit point. And then it's like, who's going to be the one that gets him? Oh, jeez. This is bad. I'm going to die, probably. I'm not prepared for this. I forgot about this battle. But anyway, OJ, the point is OJ was seen as like a, a, a goofball, a harmless goofball at the time. Oh, Chrono's dead. So, um, yeah, we're going to need to haste this shit up. Um, I will never forget my own reaction to seeing in the newspaper, and yes, I read the newspaper all, oh shit. I read the newspaper all the time as a kid. That was kind of my, one of my... Th oh, man. My thing... Ugh. This is stressful. On the other hand, we don't really need the cure. Not really a big deal. Actually, I say that and then I do something else. That was really stupid. but And a waste, but whatever. I don't care. I'm not going to win this battle anyway. But, um... I'm getting punchy, I'm drifting off. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I'll never forget the reaction of seeing OJ listed as first suspect in Double Murder. And I was like, no fucking way OJ did that. OJ Simpson, are you crazy? Like, there's no way, like, there's no way. Sure enough, yeah, it was made pretty obvious after the fact, but um, yeah, it's, that whole subject is very, kind of depressing for a lot of reasons jeez I don't know oh Luke is gone this is stressful despite the goofy music hey you can keep hitting drunk with one damage that'd be cool oh no Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Why do I keep doing that? Well, I guess it's easier than reviving, right? Yeah, we're gonna go clockwise starting from the top left. Let's see if I can beat these guys. Probably not, but it's worth a shot, right? Oh, shit. I gotta at least, yeah, bring back, see if I can bring back Luca. It's a battle to the death with new. <laughs> and it's a total non-essential battle. I think you get like five magic tabs or something like that if you beat them. Oh, now drunk is gone. And I'm out of revives. And he's the guy with the life magic stuff. So, it's looking pretty bad. It's looking like this is it for this episode. <laughs> 
Oh my god. What a stupid LP this is. Let's try good old Anthropode. That'll get rid of this guy, right? Okay, I got at least two of them. <laughs> 164. I told ya. <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah, I think I've hit my wall. I'm like an hour into this. Alright, mid-tonic. Let's see. It's these two against four news that do crazy damage. And I have no revives. Alrighty, now we're down to just Luca. Oh no! <laughs> Come on! Oh, uh, what's your str I don't even have Fire 2 with Luca yet. Jesus. I have no chance. Yeah, it's just a matter of time at this point. Oh, stop torturing me and just kill me! Kill me! Come on! I'm right here! Do it! Why did I pick that guy? I don't know. Even my dog is looking at me like, what was that for? All right, we're dead. See you next time on SNES Drunk Plays Chrono Trigger. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Cheers.